What is up? I'm going from blurry to in focus. What is up guys? I am here in a hotel room in the future and I just have an announcement video and actually maybe more than an announcement video. I kind of just wanted to sit down and chat. It's Friday. I don't usually post on Fridays, but it was Thursday yesterday and I didn't post a video. I've been busy with the clinic where the vlog series kind of is. It was just so busy that I didn't have time to upload videos. So that's why there's been a spot or two missing. And that's why today I'm sitting down and talking. And I've also been doing the podcast, which has taken out a ton of time. So I, I've been busy and I'm going to get caught up when we get to Cape Town, which is coming up in a couple days. But I need to do a little bit of housekeeping. I have like three or four things I need to housekeep or maybe just one or two. But who's counting? Anyways, the first thing is announcements time. I was supposed to make this announcement on September 25th uh, with my buddy Morton Hilmer, but Morton couldn't get the announcement out on time, so we pushed back till today, the 28th of September, to make this massive announcement. We're going to Ecuador. I'm bringing Morton Hilmer on one of my photography workshops. We're going to focus on wildlife, and we're going to focus on nature, and we're going to the Galapagos Islands and to the Amazon. Now, if it wasn't exciting enough that Morton's coming, the Galapagos are incredible. They're mind-blowing. You guys might know that I've been there twice, and I love shooting it. From a wildlife photography standpoint, there's nowhere in the world easier to make wildlife photos. Just because the, the animals aren't scared of you, and they're everywhere, and they're incredible. You get all these endemic species. It's just so beautiful. There's also so many landscapes there. I think that's the most underrated aspect of the Galapagos Islands, is there's so many beautiful landscapes. So, take Morton's expertise in wildlife photography, take my, I guess, expertise in travel, nature, landscape, and that sort of thing, and it should be an amazing trip. The trip is happening way in the future, but we had to kind of book in advance this far because the, the yachts sell out. So it's happening October 2019, so over a year from now. And all the details of this workshop are on the link below. There's only 12 spots available for this trip. We have an entire yacht booked up. And I, let me tell you about the yacht. I was fishing around trying to get a discount on a mid-range boat for the Galapagos. Boats for the Galapagos have just gotten more and more expensive. It's like three times the price it was when I first went like seven years ago. Prices have just gotten out of control. So I was fishing around to try to get a boat that was cheaper so that I could do a trip that was more affordable but still really comfortable. And none of the mid-range boats were budging. None of them were, yeah, none of them were even open. They were already booked up. So I, I kind of just kept pushing and pushing and pushing. And eventually, a luxury yacht got back to me and said, hey, we'll give you a price of the mid-range boats but with this incredible, fancy, crazy yacht. And I was like, done. Let's do it. Let's make this happen. So not only are we going to the Galapagos, but we have this epic yacht, this incredible yacht to take us around. So it's just going to be, it's going to be mind blowing. It's just going to be incredible. And I cannot wait to take you guys with me. And I can't wait to go there with Morton. Morton's such a charismatic person. He's such a loving person. He just, I've never seen somebody love animals the way he does. And it's just, it's going to be so special to share that experience with Morton. And it's going to be so special for you guys to receive all this knowledge from Morton. And I, I can't tell you how excited I am about that. So link below with all the information. I should also mention that as a bonus to that trip, we're knocking in a trip to the Amazon as well. We're doing like a three or four day trip into the Amazon. I have a friend that owns a lodge deep in the Amazon that's incredible. And we're going to try to find some wildlife there. Go cruising along the rivers, trying to find uh, dolphins, trying to find other wildlife, maybe doing some landscape photos. And yeah, it's just going to be an incredible trip. I don't think there's a trip I'm more excited for than the Galapagos. Maybe Norway. I think maybe I'm more excited for Norway, but the Galapagos, Ecuador, it's just beautiful. So um, yeah, I guess be sure to click on the link. This one's gonna sell out really, really fast. You just need to put a deposit down. The deposits are basically just to hold your spot on the trip, and then three or four months beforehand, you have to make a decision to make the final payment. So it's gonna be an awesome trip, come join me. Um, the second thing I wanna talk about is podcasting. Podcasting, it turns out, it's hard. 
and I think that it's something I love doing and I really like doing, but I'm not sure it should be YouTube as well. I'm not sure that I should be doing it live on YouTube or recording it live on YouTube because I feel like that kind of just makes it hard and it kind of, it's hard enough to be interactive on YouTube live, but when you throw in a podcast, it almost feels separated from YouTube and I'm not sure I like that aspect. So I want to know what you guys think. Should I keep my podcast and YouTube totally separate and do just, yeah, do totally two different separate things or should I keep combining them? I want to know what you guys think. And I really think that's it for today. I'm going to jump back into vlogs tomorrow. There's a really exciting vlog. The last one from Crete is extremely exciting. Something crazy happened that we never expected and uh, I'm excited to share that with you. And then I'm pushing onward to Ireland. I'm in Ireland right now. I'm in Northern Ireland right now and there's going to be some fun stuff happening up here. I promise you guys. And yeah, that's it for today. Again, sorry about the delays, the gaps in the in the content, but we'll get back into like knocking it out in a steady stream as usual soon. And I'll see you guys there. Peace.